Hello friends, this is Irwind. I'm just by myself here today, right? We have a national holiday today, Swedish national holiday, and no one is here. They are, you know, cheering for Sweden. Well, in my uh, not last video, but before that one, there was a comment when I said I'm gonna, in the future, build a boat 30 feet long. Well, this is a long time from now. First, I'm gonna finish this one. It's gonna take a long time. Not this summer, maybe testing next summer, maybe to the start 24, and then sell South America, maybe getting to Chile 25, maybe looking around there and after that i don't know sailing back to sweden and maybe 26 27 well it's like maybe five years from now i start making about 30 feet long very similar to this one uh, almost the same beam just 10 centimeter more wide but uh, nine meter instead of six. So it looks like I know this. But in the comment, one man said, it's too big. I shouldn't do that big. Because there was another man, he had a boat called Ming Ming. Has, it's the boat with a John Craig on, and he converted a boat, and it's, uh, 7.24 long, 2.16 beam, and I got a transom. And now this man, Robert Taylor, he been sailing up to the Arctic, and he tells people he got a lot of experience, and he's been sailing his whole life, he says, you know. And now in this comment, they said, now he said that 24 feet is the maximum, but, this is like 24 feet, but if you take the area, the shape and the area, this is what I did, and I put it on my scale, and it was 19.9 grams. Did the same for my boat. It was 14.2 grams. This means the surface of this boat is much less. This is in fact, 41% bigger. And not only that, this Ming Ming, he got standing headroom. Well, I got sitting headroom. So if you even add another dimension on it, proportionally it gets even more than 40% bigger. So I think it's gonna be okay. And I did the same with Perry. He has about 4.25 long, 1.83 beam. And if you compare the present one of mine, mine is like a little bit, 4% he is 4% bigger. So, length is only one dimension. Length is not, but we got beam and we got height and we got different pools, you know, like, he got a flambo or what you call it, or scubo and a transom. This is a double ender. Same with Roger Taylor with the Ming Bang. He got a transom. That means he got more. But the problem is people measure with the lengths. And it's very easy, you just take a tape and you get the measurement of that. But you know, for example, in the Olympics, they got ruined with all. Like the single skull is 8.2 meter long. It's a long boat. And uh, the weight is 14 kilo. So, well, maybe it's 26 feet long and 30 pounds. And you cannot compare that. You have to do things. So this is a little bit about the length and why 
I don't need really need to listen to what Ming Ming says that 24 feet is the biggest one you should have and uh, so this is for today okay thank you very much